So if you have a big family or just a lot of people who need to share a home with you, then I have a doozy of a model home for you today. We're gonna to be touring a beautiful home here at the brand new Fields community within Barney Farms, one of Queen Creek's most popular new neighborhoods. Stay tuned and we're gonna go check it out. If this is your first time to my channel and you wanna know everything that there is to know about living in the Phoenix area and the surrounding suburbs like Queen Creek, which is where Barney Farms is located, make sure you subscribe to the channel, ring that little bell for the notifications that way you can be the first person to know about all the goings on here in the Phoenix market. My name is Brian Elder and I get calls, texts, and emails every single day from people who are exactly like you and you and you and you and you who are all thinking about moving to this great place. So whether you're thinking about moving in six days or six months, it does not matter. Feel free to give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email or schedule a Zoom call with me. That's my personal favorite. All my contact information, it's right down below in the description and I can help you make a smooth move to the Phoenix area. Okay, so Barney Farms is definitely up there in terms of popularity. This community has amenities galore. They have a beautiful pool, a community event center that's just right over here behind me with the community event lawn, a huge playground, tons of stuff. This place is amazing and the people who love here are absolutely gonna love it. And this home that we're about to look at is stunning. This is the bamboo model. It is shown with the added loft. So the square footage is up at 3,890. It comes with three bedrooms uh, as the standard with the single level. However, due to the loft, it adds three more. It has a bunch of bathrooms. It's got a great big garage. It is really, really cool. So let's go ahead and go inside and check it out. Okay, so this one, as you can see, a different look going up, a four car garage and a full four, not a tandem ab. Absolutely love it. So these ones definitely have their own uh, style. Some of the other uh, homes in the different parts of Barney Farms, uh, the fronts vary, but not as much as these ones. These are definitely the uh, most varied in terms of the elevation and the look. This is the bamboo with loft. So let's check it out. And again, very spacious upon entry. So much so that you can fit a piano. Hopefully you have a lot of nice friends who don't mind helping you lift said piano. We had to move my mom's once and it was the old upright style that probably weighed no fewer than 11,000 pounds. Love the tray ceiling. And the windows looking out to the front sitting area. Like it. So again, big and open. So a lot of the uh, other homes you probably noticed had long hallways as you come in in the other series. Not these, these open up right away. Again, we got the blue tape marks. These are brand, brand new. So those will be gone in a few weeks once they get the paint touched up. But they were kind enough to give us kind of a sneak peek today. So we're in them early. So this is a beautiful kitchen. I love the island. You can see it's very long. Fulton is kind of known for that unique shape that they give these kitchen islands and I appreciate that. Beautiful pendants. And the bump out here for the dining area. Really like it. The extent of the cabinets all the way down. Missing a couple drawers there on back order. They'll get them though. <laughs> Got a slider there. And yeah, the same wolf appliances. They've put those in all of these so far. And the cabinets go all the way up. Some of them have the glass uh, uh, panels in there. There's your, and this is obviously a double oven with a microwave as well. So that's always great. Beautiful countertops big fancy stove top range I should say with your hood vent and then we've got the sink here dishwasher lots of cabinets and the prep sink down here on the very end so this is just about right. Fridge will be there eventually. And looking in here, here's 
here's our pantry. I feel like this one's a touch bigger. The other two, I was a little tiny bit disappointed in the size. This one, they gave you just a whisker more space, and I like that. That's about the right size. Has to be at least that. So, so far so good. Love the four panel slider. As you can see, very open, plenty of room for some large pieces of furniture that don't even feel that big because this space is huge. And this one, as you probably saw on the sign, is the loft, so we'll check that out here shortly. Actually, maybe just in a moment. Let's get a look at the fireplace, though. Very much for effect, not at all for heat, thank goodness, because it's probably about 90, in the low 90s today, but warm enough you don't need the fire. So over here we have a very large linen closet and it leads into the laundry room again very big lots and lots of cabinets and counters washer dryer are absent sink I mean, look at the size of this thing this is a big laundry room it has a window in it which is good for some natural light which laundry rooms are often lacking in. So as you can see that's obviously the staircase that goes up to the loft and like any good builder should they give you some storage under it. So I'm standing so that gives you an idea of how big this closet is and then it does go all the way into the stairs there so if you need some storage hey this is a good option. All right. Um, Got a bathroom here, single vanity, big mirror, the toilet, and a shower with the added windows to let some light in. And then here is a bedroom, and it's big. The Field Series has been very good about giving you some nice large bedrooms. And so far is no different. Standard closet. And just a little shelving here, and this is going to go out to that first of the two car garages. So remember, this is a full four car separated. So this is one and two, and then three and four on the other side. We'll get over that in just a minute. We'll kind of, this house is so gigantic, we're kind of having to, I'm having to make sure I don't miss anything, because there's a lot of square footage here. So let's check out the loft while we're on this side of the house. we we'll make the journey over to the other part. So, love these lofts. So cool that they offer this. Something that's kind of unique to Fulton. So if you've got, Teenagers that need their own space. What a good option this is. And it's even got a bathroom here. So there's your vanity. Nice little cabinets come with it. Toilet and just your regular old fiberglass shower on this one. Nothing too upgraded or fancy in that bathroom. And here is the first of the loft bedrooms. So the ceiling, as you can see, comes down <laughs> to a fairly low degree there and then slopes up because again, this is um, not truly a second level. It is a, it is a loft versus a, you know, upstairs. But yeah, something, you know, obviously a little tighter in here, but if you have need for a small bedroom or an office or something, that'd be a perfect space for it. And then there's more down here. So here is another bedroom. So yeah, the, the size is fine. They're, they're plenty wide. It's just, again, they feel a little cramped just because of the way the roof comes down on it. However, if you have a big old family and need lots of bedrooms, these really do 
work out quite nicely for that. And the closets are decently sized. Another linen closet up here. And the third of the upstairs loft bedrooms. So yes, this floor plan has a ton of bedrooms if you do the loft. Again, you can get this without the loft space, but they're just showing you that this is in fact possible. I've gotten that question a few times. Is do you have to do the loft? And the answer is no. The loft is just an added feature that you do have the ability to do if you want the added square footage. And you also don't have to put these um, bedrooms in it either. You can make the loft space even larger if you choose to do so. So there is yet another bathroom. And just again, a really nice big, big space. You can use any number of ways including a very tiny little air hockey table. I feel like uh, you'd score a lot of points on that one. Not very far for that puck to travel. Okay, that takes care of that side of the home. Back to this beautiful living area. Let's go over here and get eyes on powder room and the linen closet as well as the other garage. So there's the coat closet, not a linen closet. And here's our powder room with the pedestal sink, toilet, vanity, and all the goodies. And here is the other garage space. It's nice that they actually let us look in here. Usually, about 95% of the times, model homes do not let you look in the bathroom, in the, uh, um, garage. So that's a plus. You actually get to see how big it is. And over here, yet another closet. And into the master bedroom, another big one. have had so far. It does have its own door out to the patio. So, same for the most part set up as the others. So it's got the tub over here by itself with the windows above and the split vanities. So you have one over here and the other one right there. And then the shower tucked in here. So one thing I'm a little surprised they didn't do is your bench and lots of time is uh, making any of these with the big, um, the really big long spa shower that they like to show off. So some of the models in the Groves series have that. But so far in the fields, we're not getting that. So they have two closets in here, a his and hers. This. By the look of that shirt would be his. So yeah, kind of cool when they do that. So there's space number one, and here is hers. About the same size. So just like any happy marriage. Even Steven. I'm not a marriage counselor, so I'm not going to dive into that pool. And yeah, I'm going to look here before we check out the patio. So these have all been pretty good sized patios. And this one is no different down and closed so lots of shade it's the middle of the afternoon and again about a 90 ish degree 90 something degree day today and it's very comfortable out here in the shade a little bit bigger lot on this one so this is a little hmm. 
yeah, this, uh, <laughs> this isn't typically what you get, but people always ask, are there bigger lots in Barney Farms? Well, the answer is yes, there are. This is one of them. Now there aren't too many of them, and obviously this is a model home, so you're gonna have to wait quite a while before they sell this booger off. But you can see the potential is there to have something huge. So this uh, home, with this lot is just amazing. And it's just right across from the community center that's right there and it fronts the lake. So I shudder to think of what they're gonna charge for a lot premium on this. It wouldn't surprise me if it was $400,000 and that's no kidding because they have some other ones in the other series that touch the water and they're standard lots, they're smaller, they're about 7,500 square feet and they're asking them anywhere from two to 300,000 just because they front the water. So that's a question I get a lot. What about the lake lots? They're pricey. That's why they haven't sold any of them. They have not sold a single one um, in the other community yet. They're kind of holding out for somebody to really want those lake lots because obviously they don't have a lot of those to dole out, but uh, at two to 300,000 per a uh, lot for just for the added pleasure of being able to look at the lake. I feel like they're gonna have those for a while. So there is the answer to your question of do larger lots exist in Bernie Farms? They do with the caveat of they're gonna cost you a lot of extra money. But if that is important and you like this community enough and you want the larger lot size, you do have the option of doing it. So, one last quick look at this beautiful, open, inviting living area. Really like this floor plan. This is one of the best ones I've been to out here. Probably is the best one. A beautiful home here at Barney Farms. Okay guys, that's gonna conclude our look at the bamboo model with the loft here at the community of Barney Farms. That is a beautiful floor plan. Super luxurious feel to that. And again, to have a lot that big in this community is again, pretty rare, but it's also gonna be super pricey. So if you have questions, if you wanna see these in person, you know what to do. My contact information all down there in the description below. Please give me a call, send me a text, shoot me an email or schedule that Zoom call and let's connect and talk about this gorgeous community. Again, I also have some free resources down there. My free Arizona relocation guide designed to help give you a snapshot of all things in the Phoenix area, as well as the Arizona dream home question Eric gives me some great feedback on what it is that you're actually looking for and maybe help me give you some better recommendations on the next area that you should call home here in the Phoenix market. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Again, reach out to me with any questions or to set up a tour of these beautiful model homes. And I'll see you again very soon on another model home tour.